So one of your team members says, we need to use Power Automate Flow. Another member says, no, we need to use Azure Logic Apps. What's the difference? That's what I'm going to explain in this video. Let's dive straight in. Both Power Automate, or Flow as it used to be known, and Azure Logic Apps are workflow services. What does that mean? Well, it means it can automate your business process and integrate with other applications. Well, why have two different workflow services? Well, one is designed to be quite user-friendly, that's Power Automate, and one is a bit lower level, more for developers, so they can build on it and build richer services. So for example, Power Automate is very integrated into Office 365, whereas Azure Logic Apps is more within the Azure portal ecosystem. So let's have a look at some differences. Well, both have a really friendly interface, web-based interface, and they can get you up and running very quickly. Both options reduce the effort involved in connecting all these systems together, and both systems allow you to focus on higher level tasks rather than trying to get your business processes working. In fact, the way to think of Power Automate Flow is it's built on top of Azure Logic Apps. So it takes away a lot of the complexity which is available to you through Azure Logic Apps, but it kind of hides it away to make it a lot easier for the end business user. So if you think Power Automate, business user and developer, and you think Logic Apps, developer, so let's have a look at six key differences between the two. Starting with, who is the key user base? So point number one is, who is it aimed at? What's the focus for each application? Well, Power Automate is really designed for end users and business users who would construct the flows. Logic Apps is more aimed at IT professionals such as developers, uh, administrators, DevOps and the like. The second, difference is the licensing model. Power Automate is licensed per user through Office 365. Logic Apps is more based on how much you use it, or maybe for a fixed cost decided up front. So the third point is when we create these processes, these flows. Well, for Power Automate, it's all done in a web-based tool. And that's actually the same in Logic Apps, only it extends it in that you can define it as JSON schemas or you can use Visual Studio to build your Logic Apps. The fourth point is around security. Now with Power Apps, it uses data loss prevention, DLP, in order to decide what policies affect each flow, who can access it, how long does it last, etc. Whereas in Azure Apps, you use Azure policies to define such things. For more information around DLP and Azure policies, see the link below. The fifth difference is around handling errors. Flow has a built-in checker. So as you go to save your flow, it will tell you if you've got any errors and anything that you need to address. In Logic Apps, in a similar way, it will fail when you try to save it, but it's a bit more verbose in its errors helping you to target where the problem is. The final difference is around trigger types, how you trigger your processes. With Power Automate, it can be triggered manually. It can be automated when an event happens. It can be scheduled, 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 depending where you are in the world. And it also has kind of CRM-based business processes as well. Whereas in Logic Apps, it uses HTTP requests in order to trigger its processes. It can use webhooks as well, and they can also be scheduled. But as you can see, it's a far more low level way of accessing this information. So there are the six main differences, but it begs the question, when would you use each one? Well, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. If it is a simple business process, email comes in from here, right to a SharePoint list. Maybe we uh, connect to a third party application, flow may be sufficient to do what you want. However, if you need to hide a lot of that logic away, if it needs to be very rich in its uh, logic, then Logic Apps by its very name is the one for you. For example, recently in Flow, somebody had a timetable application where they had some very complex logic. By the time we built it out in Flow, it was action upon action upon action. In a Logic App, 
we did all that logic within the main body of that app uh, in code. So in that case, it made far more sense to use a logic app. But when people are reviewing documents and they need to send off alerts or approvals, then Power Automate is the easy choice. The other thing to consider is the cost as well. So is it enough just to license it on a user by user basis? Or do you need to pay more based on what you consume and what you use or a fixed company cost? They're the two things that you need to weigh up. The one thing I would say is if you're new to it all, start with Power Automate Flow. Don't dive straight into logic apps unless you really want to get uh, your hands dirty as it were in code. Start with Power Automate Flow, get to know how everything works and then move on. Very soon, I'm going to be developing an introduction to Power Automate. If it's already been released, you'll see the link up above. I hope you uh, join me for that. If you like what you've seen, please click subscribe and follow us. Uh, we're going to be doing lots more Power Automate and Logic Apps in the future. My name's Rob, happy coding. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give us a like. And if you like this kind of content, then do make sure you subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss out on a video. And if you want to join us on our developer journey, see the link below. And if you're feeling generous, buy us a coffee. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time. Happy coding. We'll see you next time.